Professor Dave and Chegg here, after having learned about nomenclature, conformational analysis, isomerism, and other topics, we are finally ready to learn about chemical reactions in organic chemistry. There are so many reactions to learn, but as we will see, many of them fall into a few specific categories. Let's go over some of the most common types of organic reactions now. Four general types of reactions we will see over and over again are addition reactions, elimination reactions, substitution reactions, and rearrangements. Let's define each of these right now so that later, when we investigate specific examples with more depth, we will already be clear about what type of reaction we are discussing. First up, addition reactions. The starting material for an addition reaction is something with a pi bond, like an alkene or an alkyne. Here we see an alkene. If an alkene undergoes an addition reaction, two groups will be added to the molecule, one to each of the carbons participating in the pi bond, and as a result, the pi bond will go away. So here we have the addition of hydrogen bromide to ethene, which gives bromoethane. The hydrogen went to one carbon, the bromide went to the other, and the pi bond is gone. We will talk about the mechanism for this reaction a bit later. For now, just try to recognize what we started with, what we got, and the transformation that took place. Next, we have elimination reactions. These are sort of like the opposite of addition reactions. Here we have a proton and some leaving group being eliminated from two adjacent carbons, and a pi bond will form in their place. So we can take the previous addition reaction and simply reverse it. The hydrogen and bromine will leave to form hydrogen bromide, and there is now a pi bond in between the two carbons that saw groups leave. Alkenes are therefore commonly the product of elimination reactions. Then we get to substitution reactions. This is where one group on a molecule is swapped out for another. Here is an example involving an ester and water, and we can see that OCH3 has swapped places with OH, yielding two new products. So OH has substituted in the place of OCH3. And finally, with rearrangement, a molecule will undergo a reorganization of bonds and atoms to yield a different product. This can be a little more involved than the other three types, and there are many subclasses that all involve slightly different mechanisms. Here is an example of a Claisen rearrangement. As you can see, the atoms are all still there, but the bonds have shifted to give something completely different. So that covers, in the most basic way, four common types of organic reactions, those being addition, elimination, substitution, and rearrangement. As we move forward, we will be seeing many examples of reactions from each of these categories. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.